Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to Same Brain episode 34. We are here again. Here we are. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm a little sleepy today. It's uh it's right now we're this is an evening podcast when we're recording this. It's been a evening busy week. It's been very, very busy. Things are starting to pick up and I feel like the beginning of this year, things always kind of start a little bit slow. It's like the new year, it's the holiday. And I feel like people really milk that holiday throughout the next like couple months. Maybe I do. Isn't it almost April? <laughs> yes. What holiday? Christmas. Oh dude, we're coming up on <laughs> Easter. I love Easter. But before we talk about Easter, we have some reviews from you fantastic humans who have been so kind as to leave them. So, so I'm kind. going to read them. This is from the Apple podcast reviews. Here we go. This one says, love your podcast. You are the best in the biz. Broccoli. Oh. Bye. Oh. Broccoli. Broccoli. Secret. If you know, you know. You know, you know. Hi, Justine and Jenna. I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel and I love to listen to your podcast while I drive to my school. You both are very funny and knowledgeable about the tech industry. Keep up the good work. I was, I'm glad that they specified what the knowledge was in because- that's important. We are really super knowledgeable about many things. Yes, but like tech in general, like that's good. Dude, tech knowledge is kind of tough. It's just, I feel like there's so much to know about everything. Like, do you ever look at specs and just get overwhelmed? Like, oh. well, I do. And it's like, I understand it, but I also, when I'm making a video, like I, sometimes I feel like a lot of people like, okay, great. They can read the back of a box, but what does that mean? What does Show mean? me what it does. Show me what to do. Whenever I look at like PC specs, and like what's inside a PC, I feel like specifically, it just like overwhelms me. Speaking of PC, I know, we'll talk I didn't about that. I know, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't watch your video yet. I saw it and I was so busy and I was like, oh, I'm jealous of your new gaming setup. It's so sick. We'll talk about Dude. it in a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Okay, seriously, five stars each for Justine and Jenna. I always appreciate their positive and fun vibes that come through on the podcast. I do prefer to watch the video over listening, but only because all I watch is YouTube videos when I watch TV. Keep up the amazing work. I will say, especially the last episode, the birthday episode. Very was visual. Very, very visual. There was a lot going on. Do you think that, um, so if they gave us each five stars, that means we have 10. We do. Oh no. No, yes. Hit the wrong button. Round of a freaking applause. Um, I also have some voice messages and here's one, for, it says, uh, reads tech, hello from the Caribbean or Caribbean? I think I say Caribbean. When are you gonna connect it to Bluetooth? Never. Oh. I just seen a gentleman named Miss Nathan. I'm from Barbados, and I really enjoy listening to your podcasts. I think it's great to have something to listen to while I'm either coding or doing my homework. Kind of just, yeah. I thank you for doing a podcast. I really enjoy it. Thank you, Reed. Caribbean, how cool. Caribbean. How do you Caribbean, say it? Caribbean. Caribbean. You know what? I feel like it depends on my mood. So the pirates the of the Caribbean. The pirates of the Caribbean. Where are the pirates? I think they got canceled. Did they? Well. I think Johnny Depp did. No, I think he's fine. He's back. Is he back? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. They're, those were false allegations. I mean, it's really I hard to say. Dude, Johnny Depp as a pirate was my favorite. He was really good. He's a very, he's a, he is a character. He's a good, Brian. Good pirate. That's I just say. happy birthday from Tucson. Hi, Jenna. Hope your birthday is going well so far. You've even inspired me to start my own podcast, although I'm terrible at it so far. No, you sound, you sound great. Anyway, I hope you're having a great weekend. And I hope we get a chance to talk to you again sometime. Thank you, Brian. Keep up the good work on your podcast. I haven't listened, but I have. I you've got you have a voice for podcasting. You really do. If I've ever heard one. Really, really do. You also let us know what your podcast is and how it's going. I had an incredible birthday. Let's talk about your birth. So, well, the actual birth. Or, Wait, I, wasn't, I wasn't. I, mean, I wasn't I was, there. I was there, but I don't remember it. I definitely was. Could that? How weird would that be if you remembered your birth? I mean, I can't even remember like this week. I mean, I barely, rem I do remember this weekend, but maybe like last weekend, I don't remember. But we talked about I'm in the birthday episode, Ooh. I didn't know like any of my surprises or anything that, that Jenna had planned. And Jenna, thank you so much for having the best birthday ever. You're welcome. Because I have definitely had, you know, I've had some bad birthdays over the years, especially yeah. last year when it was the first uh, day of you know Los Angeles closing down. It, it was your first it. pandemic. It was my first pandemic. So I've, I've now had two pandemic birthdays, oh God. which is crazy to think about. Do you think you're kind of like, well, There's, you and anyone else born on March 20th who lives in Los Angeles? Yeah. Because I remember, I think they made the announcement around like March 12th that they were going to be like shutting things down. And then I think on the 19th, they were like, 
okay, tomorrow lockdown. We're like, oh, yeah. So I think I was filming on the 19th and I was so distraught just for so many different reasons. And then it just sort of like all hit me. I was like, oh my God, like, what does this mean? Are we all going to die? And like, oh. that's really honestly was what I was thinking. It was very strange, very strange. We're trying to get like, I mean, this is when Supplies. the toilet paper, you know, thing was happening and we were just ordering emergency supplies in case we needed like food. The grocery stores, like I, I was going back through my pictures and I just remember seeing pictures of like Whole Foods and just grocery stores being empty. Like pictures that I took. The yeah. lines were to the back of the line, the back of the building. It was just, it was madness. I was like, and you couldn't order anything on like Prime. No. And like deliveries were just not accepting, you know, anything. And you're like, this is so and the strange part about that was because obviously at that point in time, like our lives so revolved around like the immediacy of products. Yeah. And so now I feel like I've kind of gone back and adjusted the way that I, like I, I, I am as a person. Yeah. You have, I have lettuce. food. I grow lettuce now. And I feel like I've become, I guess, a little bit more less reliant on, I mean, I'm, I do still order food delivery quite often, but now I feel like if, something happened again. It's like, I feel more prepared. Yeah. The thing that I think I might've got a little aggressive on was duct tape. Well, they, st we didn't know if this was some sort of airborne virus. Like we didn't know anything. Yeah. And so one of the recommendations was to get enough duct tape to seal off like your, all of the windows and like air vents to your but house. That's fair. I mean, you could need that. You never know. I mean, so yeah, duct tape to seal off every single window vent door I have enough duct tape for to probably cover my whole house at this point like where well, i'm ready yeah i mean you can never have enough duct tape you can't you never know it's you never great. know you really never know so yeah yeah i also have a lot of duct tape mm. also i feel like i have a lot of um like the gigantic bottles of like germex like real oh, like yeah. real big i'm like huh well what did you think you're like bathing in it or something it was an accident i'm not really sure okay i could bathe in it Anyway, birthday weekend mm -hmm. was fantastic. So Jenna surprised me first after we got off the podcast. Was that the same day or was that the next day? It was the next day. Okay, next day after we recorded said podcast. Uh, so <laughs> I have slowly turned my gym kind of into a jujitsu gym. I got like those super like high quality mats that, that are like the Fuji mats that are in actual gyms. And because I kind of at some point realized that, I you know, things are not going to ever really kind of go back the way they were. And if I can kind of control the training environment, have safe training partners in, and like just basically turn my garage into a place to train. Like that's the ideal situation. So mm -hmm. we had been sh talking about fight camp. We have. Like for, I mean, probably like a year. I think I mean, we first started what, in 2018 maybe? I think 2017 or 2018, yeah. But I feel like over the past couple of years, I've seen this pop up. I've always been very interested in it and I actually almost bought it like a few weeks ago. I know, I, well, cause we were looking at it and then we were talking about it on the one podcast and then I was trying to figure out, I'm like, okay, if I buy one, where am I gonna put this? Like I already You've have maxed out impulse treadmill, your, your like house. a Peloton, a, a Tempo. Like I really, I should be in incredible shape and I'm not, but yeah, anyway, so I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, well, if she gets one, we can be in your garage, I can use yeah. it. So yeah, I reached out to, to Fight Camp and was like, hey, do you guys want to collab on a little something, something like we've been talking about it. I know she's a huge fan. Also me trying to like set that up myself. I'm like, I'm just one person. I don't yeah. even think I knew how. Anyway, so it worked out. It was a couple of days before your birthday. Tommy, co-founder and like lead trainer fight camp personally came to, uh, to drop it off and set it up. Like they were like, we don't really do this. Like we literally had to rent a U-Haul and yeah, they showed up. We set it all up. We were upstairs like editing, I think. And then we're like, okay, the surprise is now. I had no idea. Like for some reason in my mind, cause last year Jenna wanted to surprise me with um, oh, a, uh, a, a petting, petting zoo. zoo. So in my mind, like I'm thinking petting zoo and I'm also for some reason I was like, maybe she got like a, like a go-kart track. I don't like, and there's not enough room anywhere in or around where I lived for a go-kart track. So I don't know. Go-kart track? I don't know. I'm not sure. So I mean, maybe you said like, it was in the garage and then I thought, okay, well maybe she has like, I don't know, Darth Vader coming over to fight me with a lightsaber or something. Oh, that would have been cool. I don't know. I wasn't going to be either way. I feel like I'd probably give you a heads up for that. Yeah, so I could be like, yes, you know, like prep. Be prepped, like have a cool outfit. You can't, like you can't not have a cool outfit. You said, I I asked if I needed to have a certain yeah, attire. You I said, said athleisure. athleisure. I'm like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah, so you could kick and punch. Yeah. That was fair. Had <laughs> no idea. So we walk athleisure. into the garage. Jenna made a video if you guys want to watch it. And I come out, I was like, oh, no way. 
right. And then I have a TV in my garage, which is like a sort of a temporary television because I was doing a review of another one. So I swapped out TVs. Anyway. But it's perfect because with Fight Camp, you can use perfect. like your phone or your iPad or a TV, which a TV obviously makes more sense. And you can follow along with like the classes. Yeah. Um, so basically there's like these gloves that you can put on and then there's sensors that go inside. So those sensors will then track your movements and kind of like track your progress. Um, I haven't tried it yet only because I ordered the, uh, I ordered extra um what are they called? Wraps. The, yeah, the wraps. Yeah, so I ordered my own wraps, so we're not like sharing because yeah, gross. Because you can use hands. any gloves you want. It's like yeah. the wraps have a specific little place where you can put the sensors. So I, or, and, I think uh, they got delivered today. I was going to bring them. I'm oh. s- I forgot to bring them. Yeah, so I ordered my wraps, and then I'm excited because um, I can I can you know we can fight, and then if I do I do one of the training sessions, you can then go up against my score. It's pretty cool. It's like it's gonna be cool. In the video, he was like, "Oh, it's like your ghost." I go, oh, "Like Mario, Mario Kart? Kart." Yeah. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute, why I haven't got a chance to actually use it, but it's all set up in the garage. Incredibly excited because, so, I mean, I, I know I talk about martial arts. Ugh, I just, that's all I want to talk about because it's really what I love to do so much. When I, when I was thinking about like, like my YouTube channel, I'm like, man, like, I was like, I love tech, but I was like, a lot of time that I spend is like training now. So it's like, and sure. I don't really post much about it, um, but I've been wanting to get an upright bag because for Kali, it's a lot of like stick movements and a lot of stuff like that. So if I don't have another training partner, like I can, you know, I can do those, I can train yeah. with, with this bag. So I was like, oh, this is so great. Now you have a bag for multi-purpose. It's so exciting. And for kicking, we can start doing some Taekwondo, oh, some yeah. Muay Thai. Dude, like kickboxing is just boxing in general. Is such a good workout. Yeah. And then Orion, who I train with for, for Kali and, and lightsaber stuff, like he, he's like well-versed in many different martial arts. So did he see the fight camp? I don't, he, I think he saw it briefly in the garage, but I told him briefly. that I had it and he was very, very excited about yeah, it. So. It's really cool. I just love like the technology behind it. And like, also like, I don't know what I'm doing and kind of the same thing where like, I don't really want to go to a gym yeah. to like fight other people. So like if I can just still do these motions, do the movements, learn and not have to see people, that's cool. Well, yeah. And then once we kind of have that down, like we can start fighting each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this is, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so- Taking oh, it so to high. the streets. That's Jenna's fighting um, mode. To wait, wait what did we say? Oh shoot. I don't remember. Oh. No, we, we remembered. We remembered. Now I don't remember. Why can I never I remember don't know why that either. one- Martial uh, art. I'm not form. sure. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, anyway, Fight Camp is incredible. I'm so excited about it. And now I even think that I want to keep that TV in there because. Yeah, it's nice because. It's perfect. Yeah. Or I was thinking you could get a projector. Oh, true. Because Good it would take point. up less space, but you could also have it projected on the wall so it's like bigger. Yeah. I need to. I've been looking into getting wall mats too. And I just ordered a couple more of the Fuji mats. But I oh. think I, I actually think I might have ordered a couple too many. Yeah, I got a little happens. aggressive. And then I, I ordered nine. And then I was like, wait, I should have ordered 10. So it was oh, even. Gosh. So now I, I'm, I'm like, I'm an idiot. Well, I it, is just, what I sh- it, it is what it is. should call them back and be like, hey, can I add one more on? I don't know why. Or subtract two. Anyway, Good also point. on your birthday. So we didn't have a petting zoo. Uh, and then we rented out a rock climbing gym because I got a notification on March 15th. Basically, Los Angeles was like, okay, we don't want to really have a bad look. So of it being a year in pandemic, so we'll open up five days early. Oh yeah, good that's job. Not, uh, that's yeah. not actually what it's, they said. That's just how I interpreted it. It was like, perceived that way I by all. I perceived it as like, oh, we can't have a year in a pandemic. Let's have 300 and whatever. Th- 300, 350, what's 360 the days? Uh, yeah, no, because there was a leap year. Oh, God. doesn't matter. Math. Anyway, so they opened up. I got an email from Recreation saying, we're back open on Monday. And I go, oh, this was the weekend. I'm like, and it said they do private parties. I'm like, oh my God, a private party. Like we were getting so into rock climbing yep. before the world shut down. So I was like, okay, if I can rent this out, we can have like a small group of people. It's only going to be the people and the trainers because we need we need the instructors. We need to get belay. Yeah, we don't, I can't. We don't, I don't can't belay. So yeah, um, they eventually got back to me. They were very busy because they were opening up um, and then rented it out. We had like eight people and- we just did some rock climbing. It was, it was basically like our pandemic crew just yeah. went to the rock climbing gym. It was like really fun. Um, and then we just had dinner in your backyard. It was cake. very lovely. Jenna got me a succulent cake. Jenna, I had such a good birthday. The Thank succulent you. cake. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the succulent cake, I've been ordering I've been ordering from this place called Sweet Ease Bakery in Los Angeles. Is that Angeles. what you got? I thought you got it at Susie's. No, it was oh. Sweet Ease. So it's been where I've been getting like all of our friends' birthday cakes. It started with Alex's birthday last yes. year because I was like, oh man, like I need a cake like now. And they do like same day delivery and they're incredible. I ordered yours a little bit early, but anyway, there's this add on feature where you can 
have like I don't even know what they're like. It's like a it's like a center field. Like just picture like a gender reveal. Okay. Yeah. Like if you cut into it, like these balls, you know, like these um like chocolate covered just candies come out of it. It's a surprise cake. I think that's what they call it. It's them. a surprise cake. So anyway, Justine's cutting into her cake. She goes, Oh, it's crunchy. What's on the inside? I go, nothing. She goes, You're like, no, seriously, what's on the inside? And I'm like sweating a little bit. I'm like, nothing. <laughs> and you're like, no, seriously. And then you cut it and you like move it and it just pink pours out of this cake and I go it's like <gasps> sprinkles and glitter like all over the place like, very pink and I'm like oh <gasps> like, did I get you like a gender reveal I was I like does somebody have something to say here and then everyone's person? like questioning me I go uh well I just wanted to say after 37 years it's surprise. official surprise I am me she is her yeah so that might have been an accident um but it made for a more fun evening um or I don't know it was just I was like, I don't think it was great. It was very good. The cake was excellent. (gasps) For some reason, I was thinking that was Susie Cakes, which was funny because as I was eating, I was like, this doesn't taste like Susie Cakes. That's because it's not. It wasn't. No. Oh my God. Well, now I've lied to every single person that asked me where I got the cake, where you got the cake at. No. I got you got it at Susie Cakes. I said just like that. No, this is, you have been lying. Well, I'm going to have to go back now and uh, Mm -hmm. update some of our friends. Yeah, Sweet Ease Bakery. Incredible. They have so much. I think you said you ordered. Some I stuff. sent something to Roe from to there Ro? too. Yeah. They just have same thing delivery. It was like delivery. a little like, cupcake. Oh, I'm yawning. She's yawning. I'm yawning. Um, so yeah, you had a good birthday and now it's really over. Lovely. And that's that. And it was interesting too because I was so busy that day because I, did I do something? I did something in the morning. She's busy. I don't know because I was cleaning. I, I did some, I don't remember. Anyway, it was like a nonstop morning of like cleaning and then I had to work and I did something. And so- I was getting all the messages of like all my friends like wishing me happy birthday and like I did not have a second to like go back and and like respond to everybody so I I was like thanking people for wishing me happy days birthday later. it was like two days later I was like I'm sorry so popular you know I'm only popular once a year like one day one day a year I was like I haven't I still like some people I was like I haven't talked to you since last year I know it's always interesting <laughs> to see like who you get text from on your birthday but it's cool because it's like. I mean, even if you don't talk to people for that long, it's like, hey, at least they were like thinking of you. Yeah. And it's, it's nice. So. How do you remember people's birthday? It's usually Facebook for me. They're always like, hey, it's so, so-and-so's birthday today. And that's usually when they either get a get wished happy birthday or they get unfriended. I don't know when the last time is I actually looked at on my Facebook. Oh. Other than to like post some stuff on my page. Because I, I don't, I, yeah, I don't I just, do I, it. I like open all the social medias in the morning. You even open Facebook? Yeah. I don't. I like to see what people I went to high school with that I don't really care about are doing. Oh, huh. makes sense. I'm like, wow, I haven't talked to you in 15 years. What's Happy up? Happy birthday, unfriend. You're, you're pregnant. Again. Uh, bye. I, I don't know if I should admit that. Well. You know, sometimes if people post that they're pregnant, <laughs> so sometimes I unfollow them. It's a choice that I've made and I've accepted. <laughs> it's a choice. <laughs> Look, look, and this isn't like, I told our own sister, I said, Brienne, if you, when she was pregnant, I said, if you start sharing a Facebook status every week, comparing your baby to the size of a fruit, you're going to get unfollowed. I mean, here's the thing. You can do whatever you want. You can, and you should. Yeah. Just like somebody today uh, was yelling at me for saying that I wanted to buy a Tesla. They said, stop rubbing it in our face. I was th- that you have it that you're gonna buy a Tesla. I go. I literally w- didn't even buy it. You didn't I'm buy like, it. I'm like people are doing Tesla reviews every single day. I just went and walked in the store. Yeah, she just walked in the store. I know. I mean, that's. I'm just saying. Like I, how I felt towards our sister is usually like she didn't get special treatment. I no, said, she look, didn't. I don't care. But that's the good thing about social media is if you follow someone and like they don't bring you joy anymore, or, you know, you don't want to see it. Like just unfollow them. Yeah. When people unfollow me, I love when. Well, I don't really love it, but sometimes <laughs> when like people I know, if they unfollow me, I'm like, cool, I'm going to follow you now. And then it's just like this nice understanding yeah. of like, bye. I, uh, I did at one point accidentally unfollow a bunch of people because I had this Twitter bot that I was going through Oh, and it like, you just like selected like a range or something. And then I was like, oh, you're unfollowing like my actual friends. Well, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Yikes. You did follow a lot of people. I try to keep it like. So Twitter is kind no. of, I do follow a lot of people, but for some reason it's like because of the Twitter algorithm now, like I really only see people that like I'm close friends with and uh, Instagram, I do mostly only follow close friends or brands that I like. And I keep my number at one, three, three, seven. I follow a lot of dogs. 
I used so to follow. Many dogs. Oh, it's really sad because oh. this is terrible. So because I have to keep my number at a certain thing. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. I like sometimes I'm like after an animal may pass, I unfollow. It's really sad. It's like that might be worse than me following <laughs> pregnant people. Well, yeah, but like when the animal's not posting anymore. I don't, what do you want me to do? I understand. I, I think that what you're saying is probably something that we've all experienced. It's even worse when, I mean, this is even, this oh, is terrible. We're like, going, we're going no, deeper. No, no, it's like, like even like I've had friends that have passed away. Like I can't bring myself to unfollow. Oh like yeah, it, no. Like, I'm just like, it's, it's so, oh my God. Oh, it's like this weird, I know. It's I know. so weird. Well, that's like, I've seen people in like my phone, like people I went to high school with who like, you know, like one or two of them have passed away and like, I still have their phone number. And I'm like, that's not their phone number. It's been a decade. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just something weird about like that little piece of like letting go. Where I'm like, mm, I can't do it. Nope. Not going to do it. I mean, I'll even, well, it's even worse. I have an iPad that has um, a, a ton of conversations with uh, one of my friends who, who passed away a while ago. And it's like, I can't even like bring myself to like get rid of any, like I deleted all the other conversations, but like I kept that thread. Cause I was like, it was so sad. Yeah. I will. Like, that's, that's fair. That's like the last bit that you have of, I know. of somebody. And it's like, Probably, I don't know if it's healthy or not, but it's, I don't know. I'm well, not really makes sure. Sense. That makes sense. I mean, even like one of my old phones, I was like, oh, this has like all of my like old conversations on it. And then I was like, oh, but now I'm like, I look, I'm like, eh, that's like an ex-boyfriend. I'm like, I don't really, well, whatever we talked about, that's fine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to trade you in for $800 move on. credit. <laughs> move on. <laughs> Eight hundred dollar credit to the Apple Store. So you went oh, to God. the. Speaking of Apple Store, you just went there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I had an appointment on Sunday. Did last you want Sunday. to tell them about your accident? Yes. So, oh, I'm an idiot. So I had a MacBook. This is the 2019, 2019 MacBook Pro. It was like eight thousand. What year is it now? Expensive. expensive? Eight thousand dollars. It's what I told you not to buy. You did. But then they were like, you can have eight terabytes instead of four terabytes. And I was like, oh, shopping. Anyway, maxed out uh, 16 inch MacBook Pro. <sighs> I, um, yeah, so this was also the one that somehow fried itself. Remember when like it just yeah. fried and stopped working? And a lot I, of problems with A that lot one. of problems. That one was not my fault. Um, now, fast forward a couple months later, I got the laptop back. I've been using the M1, but then like the M1 is really small and the screen is kind of small and it, it only has 256 like gigs and like eight, um, eight gigs of it's yeah that's oh, tough. it's really hard to work on it anyway so I was like I'm gonna switch back to my Intel and use this but 7 a.m. I moral is not moral story long story short I spill an entire cup of coffee in the keyboard with creamer with sticky vanilla creamer and I flip it upside down for a day you flipped it upside down well yeah so that oh. it would seep back out fair so I, I you know gravity. Um, the next day I plug it in or, and uh, basically the power button was stuck. So even if I wanted to turn it off, it just kept turning itself back on. So it was plugged in, the, constantly fighting the power button and the fan gets really hot with the Intel ones. So the, this mm -hmm. computer was so hot that it smelled like burnt. It's not like a burnt, like vanilla cinnamon roll. Oh, that's yummy. It was actually a lovely smell, but I'm like, this isn't what my MacBook should smell like. So I take it to the Apple store on Sunday. I did not want to go. I had a terrible migraine, but I did it anyway. She did it anyway. Um, I was like, look what happened. I was like, well, I spilled a cup of coffee on the keyboard. And they go, oh. I was like, yeah. I'm like, that sucks. I'm like, well, it's me as a person. It's who I am. It's fine. I've, I've come to terms with it. Accepted it? Yeah. And I'm like, so what do we think the damage is going to be? And he's like, oh, well, let me look. Roger. Roger was very nice. Roger. Roger at the Third Street. Santa Monica Apple Store. Very nice. He's like, oh, you have Apple Care Plus. I go, what's that? Apple Care Plus? He said Apple Care Plus. I wonder if that covers spills. Well, Justine, I'm so glad you asked. He said this covers accidental damage. I go, yeah, Roger. He's like, okay, so it's only gonna cost you. She hit all the buttons. I hit all the buttons. So it only cost me $299 as opposed to $1,500. There we go, it's better time. I said, okay. He's like, do you have a backup? I go, <laughs> Where I go, Roger, ever since my last incident, I've been using external hard drives. Solid state drives. He said, yeah, okay. Yeah, don't say hard drive. You'll get, you'll get. I'll get in trouble. Yeah, um, in trouble. Anyway, so two ninety nine. It's coming back tomorrow. Whoa. I don't know what they did to it. Oh. I, hope it I just hope it doesn't smell like a burnt 
vanilla cinnamon roll. It was pretty cool going from the M1 back to the 16 inch because like, oh my God, the screen real estate, there's so much screen real estate. But how slow was it? it? Well, it's not that it was slow. It's just the fans so loud. I did miss having a little bit more powerful of a computer with more ports. Brighter so screen? Brighter screen. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things, but that M1 MacBook is still so impressive. Oh like, my gosh, I know. I've done on that. Well, that's also why I went back to Intel for more ports. And then once I spilled coffee in it, the two ports on the right side stopped working. And I was like, oh, this is so funny. Cause it's really, that's what, what you did. I was like, all right. I wonder what's going to come back. How'd they fix it in a day? How, How? do you fix a, wa- a coffee? Like everything was sticky. The insides, like the ports were dead. It was only a day. It was only one day. No, cause you took it Sunday. Yeah, but it didn't get there. Monday. It didn't get there until I think Tuesday, Monday night. And they shipped it back yesterday or today. Uh, How? I, what, what could they do in bar. a day? I go into the genius bar. But like, what do you think they did? Do you think they just gave me a new one? No. No. But they probably were like, wow, you, this computer's. I'm telling done. you, it was eight to 10 ounces of juice. That's a lot of juice. <laughs> It was a full freaking mug. I was like, ah. wow. Anyway, um, so yeah, Apple Store, I had a great time. Oh, and then I got this. Oh, I was inside the Apple Store. Inside the I, Apple and Store. And I go, hey, can I do some shopping? And they go, I'm going to have to get someone else. To, I go, I won't touch anything. And they're like, I know, I still got to get someone else. And I was like, okay. So then if you're watching the video, I got this. That's pretty. It's, oh, I forget what color they called it. Um, but it's like the, the loop band, but it's the rubber one. Oh. Because I finally started working out again. And the braided loop band was getting gross. It's, I feel like it's more comfortable to wear, but yeah, it does get gross. I, I like, beat the crap out of this one, actually. It like kind of smells. Well, yeah, wash it. I mean, I, yeah, I do, but like, I, I was like, ugh. But this is, this is nice. It's like the rubbery um, solo loop one. And I I got to use their their measuring tool inside the Apple store. Oh, I, I said the one of the printer really failed me. And look, well, it varies because sometimes the printer prints different sizes. Scales. I go, yeah. makes oh. sense. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a thing that you did. What did I, what did I, do? I was like, what did I do this weekend? I just, oh, Sunday. I, it's been a while since I've just like watched Netflix and I was very tired from all of our activities. Oh, that's right. Cause I, I did like, an hour run and Ugh. then we freaking went rock climbing and yeah. then I was exhausted and then talking to people because I haven't, you know, haven't really seen people in a year. Yeah. So Sunday I watched Netflix, Jenna. I watched um, almost every single episode of The One. I haven't watched that yet. It's about um, this woman who's a, she's a geneticist. Geneticist? Is that a word? Geneticist? So. She works with genetics and they came up with this formula to uh, test your DNA, and then you're matched with your one true love. Wait, that was basically, that was a, a YouTube original show. Was this a YouTube original show? What was that show called? I don't think it was, because I think this was filmed in the UK. It was like, everybody had an accent. Yeah, they like would do something, and they would tell you who your soulmate was, and then like they, oh. anyway, somebody ripped someone off. Anyway, um, I need to watch that. I've been watching, it was uh, good. it's called Ginny in Georgia. I almost watched that, but I felt like I was more in kind of a mood for like something like a, like a mystery and a murder. Well, after you've seen everything on Netflix, I was like, this looks stupid. It's not, I really like it. I'm already eight episodes in. I started it, yesterday. I almost watched that. That was my second option. When I get a day, like when I start a show, I'm like, I have to finish this and then I can do work. But I, I just, I didn't. So yeah, that's why I didn't want to start it. So I like started it kind of like in the afternoon. I was like, well, I guess I, uh, yeah. this is what I'm doing today. I get it. I, I also watched, um, oh shoot, what is it? Hard it's to the say. One, it's the one about the Mormons and the murder. I don't know. I keep falling asleep. I've tried seven different times to watch it. Everyone says it's so good and it is good, but I keep falling asleep. So I'm, I'm gonna have to start over for the eighth time. You've watched everything on Netflix. No, I haven't watched the one. Oh, it's true, you have it. It's good. I liked it. I, it was better seen, than I thought it was gonna be. I've still never seen Game of Thrones. Well, it's a lot for you. I, I feel like it's not, it's not really like a Jenna show. I finished rewatching Dexter. You rewatch Dexter. <laughs> that Re- took, rewatch. Rewatch. De- so, okay. During the pandemic, I have made a, I didn't make a list, but like I was mentally thinking about all the things I watched and I was like, whoa, I have wasted a lot of time. I wouldn't say wasted because it's what I wanted to do. It's true. But I've watched a lot. I've rewatched a lot. Rewatched Breaking Bad. I rewatched you Dexter. You rewatched Breaking Bad. What is wrong with you? You psycho. I'm sorry that those are two of the best shows of our generation. Ah, Dexter. Lost. So here's the thing. Lost. Lost. 
I was thinking I should rewatch it <laughs> <laughs> because if I've rewatched Dexter or rewatched Breaking Bad, Lost is the third best, probably the first, first best show. First yeah, best and show. when we watched Lost back in the day, it, it, because of that time period, it wasn't something that you were able to binge watch because no. it was like, oh, you're gonna catch the rerun or you're gonna buy it on iTunes when the whole season comes out. And it's like, we watched Lost like when it was on TV. Well, I started, I think in season four, I remember you and Dab were watching it. And then I think I started eventually in like season four. So I was able to binge. I had to like download some apps and like watch it illegally. Huh. Of, I know, crime. Crime. Mm. Um, but yeah, so then I binged it. And then, yeah, it was like literally had to watch one episode a week. That is disgusting. Um, I'm wondering when Handmaid's Tale is coming back out for their next season. I really liked that I show. I tried to watch that show and I couldn't get into it. I was like, this is strange. Oh, yeah, it's definitely weird. Handmaid's Tale, let's see, episode season three. When is it? What's on Hulu for April? Oh, <gasps> is it going to be? Should I check oh to make God. sure that we're recording? I was thinking that actually a little I while ago. Live. How much longer? Without are we looking, be how long do you think we've been speaking? Uh, probably like thirty-two minutes. You looked. You <laughs> looked. I looked. Well, I looked ten minutes ago when we were speaking for twenty-two minutes, and I was like, "It feels like we've been speaking." Dude, <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, "It feels like we have been speaking for days." Not like, like I looked down and it said seventeen minutes, and I was like, "Are you sure that's not seventy-one? Because it feels like we've been speaking right? for." years so i've been in this weird like time vortex over the past like i feel like a couple months like things see i'm like wait that was yesterday that like i did something and i'm like that felt like a freaking month like it doesn't make sense it's very strange time is being yeah it's very strange and then i also thought today was i don't when it was monday i was like it's not monday but then it was monday and i'm like what yeah i was like but where did the weekend go Cheers to the freaking weekend. You're so what's to today it. that we're filming this? I think it's Tuesday. I oh my gonna, God, it's so Wednesday. I was going to say, <laughs> it's, I was going to say it's Thursday and it's Wednesday. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. So we're both wrong. Okay. I have a lot of deadlines to do. I do too. It's really quite a problem that things keep kind of piling up. Like there's so many videos that I want to do, but I don't actually have the, the, well, I don't have the time to do them. And I also don't feel like I have just like the mental capacity to really do it. I mean, I talked, I said this morning, I was like, I spent an hour and a half working on a thumbnail and I hated it. I was like, this is, this isn't, this is terrible. This is trash. I can't do this. And then I just deleted it. Like I need, I need help. I, there's not enough time to do yeah, everything. It's tough. Like being in the video, setting up for the video, filming the video, editing, editing the, the video, video making a thumbnail, posting, social. The social, oh my God. I've spent hours just doing like three Instagram stories the other day. I put on makeup to film an Instagram story because I had to. It took me all day to like psych myself up to film like this video. And then I realized that I only had like 30 minutes to film it because I plan on shooting a, a couple things. And then I had to go meet you to go uh, to a meeting. And I was like, oh, I'm like I gotta do this now. I know. I, know. I mean, I realize these aren't like, these don't sound like the worst problems, but. Yeah, you know, just, just things to think about when you're a content creator. Things yeah. sneak up on you. They do. And it's not very glamorous behind the scenes sometimes. It's really not, like, no. Oh. I mean, unless you have a whole team doing everything for you yeah. and like scripting everything and basically doing it, that's nice, but then it's not you. That is true. That is, I would like for someone to do my thumbnails only because I'm not great in Photoshop and I don't want to be. Yeah, great. I don't want I mean, to do I, thumbnails. Actually, I do like editing like photos and stuff, but thumbnails it's like a whole science behind it i just i don't like it because at that point i'm like i'm making the thumbnail when i'm uploading the video yeah, so yeah, i'm like I, okay like i have 25 minutes to do this so good luck it's like what's gonna happen yeah i feel like we definitely need like two more people on our team here because we've definitely maxed out tyler's ability yeah. like well, not his abilities his his time because yeah he shoots with you sometimes. Hi, Tyler. Hi, You're Tyler. Right now, we appreciate you. Yeah, he's not here today. He's not here today because we shot this morning and then I had to go meet Jenna for another meeting. And then um, now she came back to my house. I did. Then I came over here. Um, speaking of you coming over here, uh, I've also been using Jenna's car for, uh, <laughs> for how long? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. It's been over a week. It's definitely. It, it's been a week and a half. Uh, so my car stopped working. Did we talk about this? I don't yeah, remember. Anyway, did. car stopped working. Jenna had to come to my rescue. And then they, they towed the car. They said it was the battery. I was like, it's not the battery. 
turns out there was a water leak and like water was getting into my trunk. I go, I've never seen water in my trunk. What are you talking about? Like actually in your trunk or like so underneath it? I think there was some sort of a weather seal that like just was faulty. So it was all under warranty. So it wasn't your fault? No, I mean, there's something wrong with the car. So they didn't charge you? Well, I don't know. Uh, they did send me a note that was like, do you approve this charge? And I thought, I was like, yeah, I approve thinking like $1,500 was the amount to fix everything. I was like, okay, well, it seems like a serious issue. Approve. Well, uh, that was only to do a diagnostics uh, to see what was wrong. And then when I actually read it, which you guys should always read things that are sent to you and before mm -hmm. you sign. And then my dad called and he's, he's <laughs> like, I just want you to know she didn't read that. Okay. Like, she said she read it. She didn't read they said, that. They're like, well, but she signed it. He's like, yeah, I know. Oh, you um, got in trouble. I did. I got in trouble from not only my dad, but also the dealership. But the thing was they were going to refund it if it was a warranty issue. But like, that was like, they, I had to approve that so that they could follow through. So either way, I'm an idiot. Don't like, I, I read contracts. I read everything. And before I sign it, what I was so furious. Yeah, you about. don't, we have a lawyer. Well, yeah. But I'm saying like, I look over before I sign things like that I have to look at if my lawyer's not looking at it. Oh, oh, okay. I was yeah. gonna say, I've, uh, I, oh. No. Oh boy, I'm, I better start reading. Yeah, no, 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 I'm no. saying like, if, if I, should, I probably should be like, um, Duncan, can you read hey, this text message? can you read message? this text message <laughs> <laughs> that Mercedes just sent me? <laughs> like, um, and like, I read it and to yeah. me, like the brief read, it was all in like capital letters. I was like, are you even right? Like you didn't even write out vehicle. I hate how they say the. They're v like, e -H. your vet is ready. <laughs> like. Come on, v vehicle. So anyway, yeah. Um, so Ford, a big fan. Like they, uh, we had tested out the Mach E not too long ago, and they said it was like a couple weeks ago. They said that they would have another one available that we could uh, test out. And I was like, Hey, I was like, Do you remember that time you said you had a Mach E? Uh, is that offer? Do you have it right now? Is it like like you think I can have it now? Well, Ford, amazing. They uh, they were like, Well, we don't have it right now, but you can get it on Tuesday. But we do have a uh, a Lincoln. It was like a Lincoln Nautilus. I don't yeah, know. It was actually nice. really nice. It massager. had, I know it had Ch massaging chairs in the, the seats, which was incredible. But the problem was, do you want to talk about the problem? I forgot what the problem was. Your personal problem? What's my personal problem? About uh, your license? Oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> my drive, okay, so my driver's <laughs> license expired. When? A year ago, mm. I renewed it, but said driver's license address was very, very outdated. And or maybe it just didn't show up. Hard don't, to tell. We don't know, because I thought that I had updated the address, never showed up to my house, wherever it is, I don't know. So I basically have been just, you know, like hoping Would I Would you get... say doing crime, car crime? No, because my license is technically, it's renewed, I just didn't physically have it with me. <laughs> this is why I think digital identity is important. Oh, cause I'd be responsible. Speaking of car crime, we can talk about my car crime after. Um, yeah. So anyway, so you eventually. So I went to, so I, so I knew that we were having this car issue and then we also got this really cool offer to, uh, to drive, uh, uh, in like this little, I love tech. I don't know much about cars. I'm just going to say like, just going to be upfront with you. I like the tech in cars. I don't know cool. a lot about car history, whatever. Either way, we're going to this drive-in F1 event and we're going to be driving a McLaren and they're letting us borrow one. So I'm so excited. It only took that for one year for you to make you to go to the DMV. Yeah, it took the Mach-E and a McLaren. Yep. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I need to have, I need to make sure I have a license before I get behind the wheel of obviously, um, a, you know, a car that is not mine and also the the... Uh, the McLaren yeah. starts so then, at like two hundred and ten thousand dollars. So, uh, wow! I need a driver's uh, license. You one hundred percent do. I but freaking went to the DMV, Jenna. Oh okay, no! Okay, listen. On a Friday, we had all this stuff. So basically, I was back to back to back on this Friday, and then I, the only time that I could get there was maybe around like three o'clock. Or no, I was like at two thirty, three o'clock. They closed at five. They closed at five. They they cut the line at four. So I was oh. just. It was about four or something. There was like a couple of people in front of me, like me and the DMV dude, like we were on the same like wavelength. He's like, I got you. I was like, cool, I got you. How do you have him? I don't know. I was there for <laughs> hours, okay? I had nothing else to do but talk to this guy. He, he was actually, for like the DMV is such a terrible experience, but yes. like this dude was so like cool and just That's like good. joking with people and made it like actually very fun. So, oh, we get all of them there for like an hour to hour and a half at this point. It's like Friday night. I'm like, I want to go, you know, sit at home because mm -hmm. instead of sitting on the street and uh, the entire system-wide California DMV goes down. 
Could you imagine? No, I couldn't. Dude, this is like, and I texted her, I said, this is like that time we waited for hours for Space Mountain. Yep. And then we were next and Space Mountain shut down. It was basically exactly like that. Yeah. So then uh, Monday rolls around. Um, I have some stuff to do in the morning. And then as soon as I got a free second, I went and, and at this point, I just planned on like, I'm spending the day at the DMV until I get this license. So like, I'm so zen. If you guys are watching the YouTube video. Like, She's doing some loosey goosey movement. I'm waving. I just plop down. I sit on the ground. I'm like, I'm just going to sit here until I You should have brought a there. camping chair. Yeah, but then I have to like pick up the chair. Oh, and, mm-hmm. yeah, I guess that's actually I should, probably should have brought a camping chair. I didn't. I just sat on the ground, played on my phone. Damn. And uh, I, was, I was like seeing people talk about... Um, especially in Los Angeles, there are so many leftover doses of the vaccine. So I was like, okay, I've got several hours here. I'm going to see if I can find a place that has leftovers available on Friday. Cause it's like, you know, going into the weekend. So three hours I spend doing that. Mm-hmm. I potentially have a lead on a place, a lead, a lead. Um, I don't even know which uh, button to push. I think it's blue. But that's not what we want. I lead. potentially have a lead on a first dose vaccine of extras, but uh, going into the freaking DMV, dude. I get in there and there. It's just like, it is. Oh, it's terrible. This guy starts freaking out. Did you see that, did yeah. see that video? He starts yelling swear words and like at this, at this woman. And then the security guy comes out. He goes, he goes, please like watch your language. Like there's women present or whatever. Women? I, was like, I was like, well, bro, it's 2021. We can hear it. I was like, but I appreciate what <laughs> you're saying, but it's, it, it's okay. You don't have to protect our ears. Yeah, well, either way, sensitive ears are around us. A lot of women. Maybe children? Who, maybe like nobody wants to hear some dude dropping F bombs in, in the freaking DM. Like fair. it was actually, I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, so then he like takes his mask down and is like, yeah, like, no, 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 who are you? And then he finally, uh, the guy was like, put your mask back on. And then he starts yelling, no, and like yelling at this guy. And I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God, I hate you all. Yeah. And then the, uh, the DMV, like, I, I get everything. Then I have to take a picture. And oh. I just want you to know, I I can't, like, when, okay, so she took the picture, and I was not ready, and I, like, had went like this to, like, pull my mask down, and then, like, she basically took it, so I'm pretty sure my picture's gonna be like this. Uh, I go, they didn't show you? No, I go, I think oh. I, I, like, I think I blinked. She's like, oh, no. no you, they don't show you, because you then they know you, if you want to, re- oh, no. I go, are you sure my eyes are open? I, I don't think my eyes are open. Well, I guess you'll find I'm out in like, a couple of weeks when you get your <laughs> real ID. Oh, so no. I got the real ID. Uh, I'm going to be able to drive the Mach-E. But, I'm going to be able to drive the McLaren this weekend. So then I've been driving the Mach-E because I am a, you know, a licensed driver. So they're like, I was like, okay, I'll put it in my name. And that was a very, very long story as to why you've been driving my car. Be- well, I guess I technically shouldn't have given you my car because- yeah, but. Okay. It is what it is. But I have a driver's <laughs> license. I have one. I mean, I so get it's it. it's registered. But I feel like Jenna, she was like, well, I know if something's happening like to my car, like you'll just like pay to fix it. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you're just gonna like, you're gonna give me money to fix the problem. And like, also it's different. Like, you know, a company was loaning it to us. And I don't know. I was like, you have a light, like you have a license, but you don't physically have one. I was like, I just yeah. put it in my name and I want to drive the Maki anyway. <clears throat> anyway, and you can have my car. Speaking of DMV crime. Oh, <laughs> oh, more DMV crime. Oh my God. So in, you know, on our road trip, there was like a little mishap where- Small. So it's just a small accident Need where accident. someone hit us, hit me, a stopped stopped vehicle. I got a little smack in my butt um, of the car. Just what just she lies. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> yeah, no, too, it's weird. Too, too much. Anyway, um, and in, in the state of Oregon, I mean, it's my first car yeah. accident. So in the state of Oregon, if there's over $2,500 damage or a totaled vehicle, which, you know, maybe there was one or both of them, uh, you mm. have to file an accident report with the Oregon DMV within 72 hours. Now we had a very hectic 72 hours, like literally driving up and down, down back down the coast. And like, it was a whole thing. I eventually filed the accident report as I was supposed to. I made you do the diagram of what happened, remember? I did, I even drew the diagram of the accident. I, I focused very hard on yes, that. Yes, you did the diagram, I submitted the form. Fast forward a month later, now I get I get a notice from the DMV. And it's like, <laughs> you are suspended from driving in Oregon until April of 2026. Oh, that's uh, a long time. I know, I was like, whoa, hold up. And it's like, because you didn't submit an accident form and you also were driving uninsured. I'm like, first, first of all, off, I'm actually no. double insured because I had my personal and then it was also like 
corporate insurance. Yeah. So I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-uh. So me, I'm like, all right, I'm going to pull the receipts. So I go back to where I emailed a month ago. I was like, here is the email of my accident report. Here is the confirmation that you received it. I was like, and here is the double insurance. Um, so let me drive in your state. The receipts have been pulled. They got back to me today saying, oh, you're all good. I'm like, I don't believe this at all. Like, I'm (laughs) definitely going to get another letter or like years from now, I'm going to be in Oregon. I'm going to like get pulled over and they're going to be like, oh, car crime. You're like, uh, hold on. Let me pull the receipts. Let me pull the receipts. I don't know. So anyway, we have a lot of of damn, like, and then could you, and then I tried to call them and it was. You don't, you can't do that. And they were like, oh, we're closed. I'm like. Could you imagine not work? Like, I'm just so used to like working all the time. If like I get an email at 12, I'm like, I answer it at 12. If I get an email at 2, I answer it. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's not how the real world works. It's not. And it's really kind of crazy. Like I was thinking about um, like the, the first couple of months, like I say I wasn't working, but I was working probably more than what a, like a normal nine to five job was. But for me, that felt like I wasn't working. Yeah, I so know. It's wild to even think because I mean, I don't the thing that I don't like, I hate like hustle culture. Like where people are like, You gotta hustle, 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 hustle. Yeah, team no sleep. Like I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. But like, you know, it's what I don't even know. I mean, it's I, I it's like all those guys or it seems mostly like dudes are always just like, You gotta hustle, 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 hustle. Okay, there's a point where like hustling is great, but like yeah, when you it starts affecting you like personally and just mentally and all of that. What I don't even know what my point was. No, I mean I get it. Like, well, I know because there's been like there was like a couple weeks, like a month ago. I'm like, like we got back from the road trip. I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna sit for like a little bit. I mean, I was still working and doing like some stuff, but I was like, I was doing the minimal effort. And then the past like two weeks, I'm like, oh my god, it's nonstop. Like I'm editing all day, filming, and then editing. Like it's just like at least twelve hour days. So I feel like I either am working all the time, or I'm like, oh, I just watched a whole Netflix series. <laughs> like whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like no, a weird I, balance. If, if there's a day I don't want to do anything, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, this is my personal day. Yeah. I mean, unless I actually have to, which there are some days um, that I definitely have to, but it's like, if I know it's something that I can push or yeah. can be like put off and then I, then I will do that. Well, no, I'm like, I'm crazy about deadlines. I hate missing deadlines. So like I will get my work done, but if it's like a vlog for my personal, I'm like, eh, make a way today. But yeah. if it's like for a brand, I'm like, oh no, no, I need to get this done. I don't like being, you know, late on stuff. Yeah. So, but if it's me, I'm like, whatever. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So I guess going back to the vaccine ordeal. Yeah. This is, I, it, this whole process of me sitting there for three hours searching for this. And that night previous, I had searched for maybe like another three hours because they had just started opening up vaccines to entertainment performers and entertainment uh, in, the, in the industry, but not, in every location. So it was only very specific locations and you needed some very specific like forms to be able to to go to these places. So I didn't really have any luck finding those because it was only specific days. And I think it was like in Long Beach was like one and there's like one somewhere in Compton, which are this process of trying to find a vaccine just for whatever, it's terrible. It's really, really bad. The websites are so awful. Me being an extremely tech savvy person, I was struggling to figure out like how to do anything. It's very, very bad. And I think it's different state to state, but California, it's terrible. Where's our, what's our tax dollars going to? Clearly not web development because this is absolute Trash. garbage. It's and very then bad. It'll like just toss you over to like a CVS website or this or that. Like there's gotta be some sort of more like localized thing. And then what about people? Well, who, I'm looking at the CVS website. It's quite nice. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying, as far it's as like nice. the like the the whole like California sort of website, oh, yeah, it's yeah. terrible. And the problem is, what about people who don't have access to technology? Yeah, like, or cars. How do you get there? It, it's yes, because so I ended up being able to get the first dose because there was a um, a hospital that had only first doses. They had an excess, and they were going to no longer be serving this specific location. So they were like, if you're able to book a uh, an appointment we'll be able to take you and you'll be able to have, you know, whatever the extra dose is if there's extras after. So I freaking like, was like, oh my God. Okay, DMV, this was the terrible, most worst day of my life sitting here. And then I get a notification that says, hey, we've got them, you can come in and get it. And then I'm freaking out because I originally like felt like I wanted the Pfizer version, yeah. which for no reason at all, I just That's felt a mental like, thing. I don't know. 
So then I ended up getting Moderna. So I showed up, I was like, I don't even know what I'm getting. I don't know what I'm doing. But it was like in my mind that because I missed that deadline for the entertainment one the prior week, that I was like, it was in my head. Like when I get super obsessed with something. I know you were, I was like trying to film. I was like, you need to <laughs> shut up. You're like, I was like, you're like, come with me right now. I'm like, I'm worth the like, shut up. It was like so stuck like, in my there's head. There's left, leftover ones. It was like, I was getting it today. Like, I don't know. I, I was just in my mind. So I mean, anyway, I, I managed to get it, but that did not guarantee a second dose because that place was closing. So then there's a, yeah. So once you have the first dose, you're able to get the second within, it's supposed to be like what, 20, one, and they said you can go up to like 40 some days, but they definitely recommend yeah. in around the 21 days. So then you have to go to the website to find specific second doses. CVS has it very easy. It's like, I, I need that's to, what I did. I need to schedule um, a vaccine appointment or just second dose only. Yeah, so I did the second dose, but then the only one that was available was like in Glendale. So- You're going to Glendale? Yeah, because you have to just go where it, it takes you. Like there's no, it's just, it's such a, a bad, bad it system. It really is. And like, I don't know how people like are able, like you don't have a car. And that's what I'm thinking. It's like, if you guys know any people that are elderly that don't have technology or access to be able to figure this out, like please help them. Because yeah. I was honestly so confused and so distraught. And then even like being there, kind of like witnessing like the line of people, like there was like a bunch of older people. And then like they had like their younger person there yeah. just like taking them in and, it was strange because I'm sort of very sensitive to, to like needles. Like I freak out a little bit. So after I got the shot, um, like I felt a little faint just because I think I was like psyching myself out. And then she told me, she's like, you need to wait 15 minutes just oh, yeah. to make sure there's no reactions or anything. And then I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm dying. I was fine. <laughs> um, I had no side effects. It's good. Abs like nothing how at all. How many days has it been? It has been, uh, was it, what, was a month, like two days, two, three days at this point? I have point? no idea. Um, the only thing is my arm hurts really Yeah, I hear that really it's bad. pain is very, very bad. Um, so I can, like yesterday, I could not raise it any higher than this. So yesterday was very painful, very painful. But it was weird because I, I did a run yesterday. It was like three miles. It wasn't anything too crazy. Um, but like every step, oh, it hurt. Just do the one arm. Yeah, but, yeah, but then- every step until like maybe after two miles, like it stopped hurting. So it's like now, okay, I can do that movement, but it's the weirdest thing. But honestly, like I, just, I can't stress enough, like it, depending upon where you live, it might be easy. Um, but if there's somebody in your life, friends, family who don't have access to cars, technology, like freaking reach out to them and help them because this was terrible. Yeah, it's, oh God, it's just, it's so bad. It's really bad. I wonder how it's going to be when it, I mean, it's still going to be probably worse when it opens up to everybody. Because you said May 1st, right? I think May 1st is what they were saying it's going to potentially be for, for everyone to be eligible. It's just like, I mean, I can't even make a doctor's appointment because when I try to find another primary care physician, because they had one and then they left and then they reassigned me to another one. And I'm like, I don't know you. And I'm like, I want to like, I don't know. Like it, it's the, the healthcare in America is terrible. And like, I tried to call and they're like, oh, sorry. I'm like, what do you mean, sorry? It's just, I can't even find a regular doctor no. to go to. And it's interesting. So our friends were a part of this one medical, it's like a doctor sort of subscription thing, which is actually kind of interesting. And, and it sucks because I'm already paying health like, insurance, like five, $600 a month for yeah. freaking health insurance. And I can't even actually use it. And I need to go and like get another private healthcare subscription to be able to have easy access yeah. to try to find someone. It's so terrible. this app is actually kind of cool. One it's, medical? Yeah, it's interesting because they have, uh, they do have offices around and everything is basically like app based and you can do over the phone calls. You can get like lab results, like everything. Do like they take insurance? Um, I think they do. I'm not sure. I put my insurance card on it, but That's I haven't had to use it. crazy thing too, where it's like, if you ever have to go to like the emergency room and if a doctor who treats you, who's out of your network, like you have to pay for them. They're like, oh, sorry, not in your network. You're like, what? It's just, it just blows my mind. And then even getting like specific, um, like uh, what are they called? Prescriptions. Prescriptions. Some specific drugs aren't covered oh. or you have to pay like a copay, which ends up either covering or not. And then yeah, it's really annoying. It's very terrible. And I'm just very upset that we, I feel like Americans were brought up to believe that we live in the best country right. in, in the world. And I'm like, as an adult, it's not uh, really that. What? Especially after this whole pandemic, seeing how other countries handled it and how they were literally paying people 
80% of their salaries to stay home. And in America, they're like, sorry, figure it out. Here's $600. $600. Oh, it's just very upsetting. It is. I mean, I think, what do they say? Like in some places, I mean, I think you get paid like per child or something. Yeah. Which is like, it's like, you've got to raise children with oh. like, you lost your freaking like job. How? how do you do it? I, mean, I don't understand. I don't know how people, especially in Los Angeles and like these cities where it's so expensive to live. How? How do they, I don't know. It's don't. very sad. It's and just very, very sad. It's like the homeless population right now is so overwhelming. Like it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really like is. Looking in Venice right now. Oh, it's just, it is so, it's basically the entire like Venice boardwalk is just mm-hmm. completely covered in tents. And it's so, it's really sad because it's like a lot of these places, these like tents have tried to sort of make it more homey. Like they mm-hmm. put little plants out front of like their tents know. and like make little fences and, and it's, it's just terrible. No, because it's like it's the, awful. they're not doing anything to address the problem, no. you know? And it's like, I don't even know like what you can do because it's it's gotten so bad it's at this point. It's very bad. I saw people were doing, um, they were trying to close down like Echo Park today. I didn't read more into it, but there was like a bunch of people trying to to stop them from closing it because it just turned into basically like tent city at this point. Oh gosh. So it's, it's just, it's, it's really hard. sad. I'm, well, the one day this summer, I remember I was like driving over here and it was like 110 degrees. And I remember like seeing, it was like the street, um, like under a, bi- like a, like yeah. under a bypass. I was like, oh my God. And they, like, these people had like dogs. I was like, this has to be so hot. And I like came over here, I go, do you have like a case of water or like something? I was like, we need, like, I w- we just like drove over there. I'm like, we just need to like give these people water. Like I just felt so bad. We brought like little dog bowls we and stuff did. for the little dogs that were outside. And I was like, God, I just feel like, Oh, it's just so sad because it's like these people, you know, it's like, what do you do? We gave them some pizza the one day. Oh yeah, we, we did pizza. pizza. We just, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. It's and the hard thing is it's like a lot of it is, it's like they're ignoring the actual problems. It's yeah. kind of sort of like the whole like gun control issues. It's like, oh, yeah, gosh. you can, you you need, we need stricter gun laws, yeah. but it's like it, the, the root of the problem a lot of times is mental health. It, it definitely And it's is. like the neglect of, the upbringing that these children have I know. to be able to have access to, to, to healthcare. Like it's just, it's crazy. I know it really, it really and is. It, and it's like the medication also, I mean, I'm not, I'm clearly not a doctor, but it's like a lot of kids are being medicated yeah. improperly. You're giving them things, you're diagnosing them with whatever. And then you're, you end up like giving them drugs. That is something that is like completely counteracting or they don't have access to get the medication. Or you can't afford it. Yeah. Because it's so expensive. I, it's just a very screwed up world that we live in over here in America. It's very sad. I mean, we definitely do. I mean, we, we have a lot of great things. I'm very grateful for, for a lot, but it's We like, have our freedom. How's that working out for us? Freedom. Hey, Maddie. No, I, look, here? I will say, yes, I'm very grateful, you know, for everything. But also we just, we have a lot of issues over here. Yeah. Maddie is over here. He's very concerned about his dinner. What's I, up, I dude? I have my dinner. I'm also very concerned about my dinner as Me well. Too. I need to work out. I didn't get to work out yet today. Well, the good news is we're at an hour, around an hour. I so think we're done speaking. I think we're going to be done speaking. I actually need to take a photo. Okay, cool. I, we need to take a thumbnail too for Uh-oh, this. Oh, Tyler's uh, not here. Maddie, can you put, oh, he's gone. The dog has gone. Maddie, can you take a thumbnail for us? Can you picture? imagine if he could? God, that'd be so great. Be so great. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a YouTube channel where you can see the video, youtube.com slash same brain. We also are accepting uh, voice messages, anchor.fm slash same brain, as well as podcast reviews on Apple podcast. It's, a, it's same brain. It's same brain. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, check it out. We'll check you out. And, uh, I guess I don't know. Check it out. We'll check you out. <laughs> check it out. We'll check you out. <laughs> well, because if they leave a comment, like I'll be like, Oh, check you out. Check it out. We'll check you out. <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you later. Bye.